So good morning everybody. Today I'll explain about the account standards and I'll tell about the account standards in India and also international account standards. Very briefly I'll be telling about account standards. So see account standards all of you know you learned from HS first year. What is account standards? There's some rules for treating certain transactions. There are different types of account standards are there. This is actually come from principles. Our latest look, accounting principles like generally accepted accounting principles like that, principles. But in comparison to principle and standard, you will find standard is a better word. Standard, principle like that. Anyway, this have come from principles. Principles have been upgraded as standard. And rest you study from book because I will be telling in a very brief way. Now, so far as accounting standards are concerned, see what happened in international level in UK. In UK, June, June 1973. In 1973, June in UK, this organization, International Accounting Standard Committee, was formed. IASC, International Accounting Standard Committee, was formed in 1973, in June. And their objective was that they will make accounting standard for all over the world. Because, you know, business is from local no business becomes regional and from regional business becomes national and from national business becomes international and when business is in international level there should be one single language for accounting and accounting is the language of business all of you know but if different type of people are supposed speaking in different languages nobody understands each other then what will happen similarly if different type of people make different type of accounting different type of balance sheet then people will not understand one accounting done by one party by another party will not be understand it. So there is a necessity that there should be a single accounting language. Single accounting language, this is known as, so single is also known as harmonization. And one more word, harmonization is making the same. Internationalization, you understand that. And uniformity, it comes uniformity, you have the same language. When you're doing your business in India only, there's no problem or you are doing your business in your area, no problem. But when you do your business internationally, then the balance sheet profit or statement what is made by the other country should be understandable to you and what you make should be understandable to them. Otherwise, there will be problem in understanding and if there is problem in understanding, there will not be any business properly. You cannot do business if you don't understand the language, language of business is accounting. So in 1973, IES was formed in June and they started preparing international accounting standards. IAS, international accounting standard, they started making from 1973 for international level. International level they want to make. And lots of countries joined this conference in 1973. And they agreed, they will accept it. These standards, IAS, they will accept. Now, this for international. In India, let me write here India. What happened in India? In India, Institute of Charter Accountants of India, Institute of Charter Accountants of India, it was um, it was formed in 1949. All of you know it by the Act of Parliament. And in 1977, India made this Institute of Charter Accountants of India. They formed IA. Sorry, sorry. Uh, IASB. Let me write it properly. Uh, uh, Accounting Standard Book. AASB. AASB. This is formed by uh, ICAI. ICAI means Institute of Charter Accounts of India. Then 1973, 77, 77. Can you read it? 77. They formed this ASB. This is a board. This is a board. In 1977, this ASB started formulating the account standard for India, only for India. Now, if you call India the account standard IAS. If you call this way, IAS is correct, Indian Accounting Standard, absolutely correct. But there will be some confusion between IAS and this IAS because this is for international, this is for India. So there will be some confusion. That's why India dropped this one. Indian Accounting Standard is known as only AS. And when I talk about this in some other countries or some other places, what I say, you know, on behalf of India, I say, see, India is such a country which never thinks of I, they think for world. I spoke this way in other countries when I am invited this way on this topic. 
So I celebrate. India is not for India only. India for the world, and it is it is true also, also no. So accounting standards. Accounting standards were formed in 1977. You will find in Google AS1, AS2, AS3 like that, and here IS1, IS2, IS3 like that. Then what happened in 2001? In 2001, IASC was abolished, and in its place IASB came. IASB means International Accounting Standard Board. And when this came in UK, of course UK. It's all of course UK only. You understand? Of course UK. So when this was formed, they said we are going to make standards, but not IAS. Our standard we call IAPARIS. IAPARIS means International Financial Reporting Standards. <coughs> and till today, you know, by this date, more than one thirty countries have accepted that IAPARIS. India started accepting, discussing since two thousand two only. And South Africa accepted 2005 already accepted. India took several more years. So India accepted it. And for accepting of IFA, there are two of two options. One is adoption, and number two is convergence. Remember, adoption and convergence. Adoption means you take as it is, and conversion means you just change in your style, old style. So India has converged. India chose convergence. So I am for when it came to India, it becomes a new name in as, because you cannot give I A S again will be confusion. That's why there is in as in as, and this in as came in India, and it is used, I mean implemented from 2015 only, 2015 April, April one like that is film. So 2015, 16, 16, 17 like that is there, but it is not compulsory for all the companies. In 2015, they say that a company which has net worth of more than 500 crores, only they will apply this one uh, in S. Then after two years like that, it became 250 crores. Why 250? So this is a this limitation you should learn from the book. That up to which level of turnover must apply in S? And now there are many companies which are below this level. Many other companies below this level. They do not. Apply in this, so they follow original ears, the small companies, original ears. So in India, if you say today there are two types of accounting standards going on. It's today's day, one is AS, which started from 77, the old one, and it was applicable for all companies before 2015. But from 2015, this index is there. Index is for big companies. Remember this way, but for small companies, this again this one, AS. Now since there are two types of Account standards going on in India. I'm, I'm just I have to tell you there are two types of companies. No, there are three types of companies. You'll find today there are three types of forms of balance sheet in India today. Three forms of balance sheet are there. Three. Number one, the companies which follow AS and companies which follow Indus. So you find there are two types of companies, but in fact there are three. Three how? I'm telling you. There are some companies which are very small ones. They follow AS, and they are called division, division, division one companies, division one companies, division one companies, and another division two companies. Please remember these things: division two companies, and one more division three, division three companies. I'm putting this way. Now you'll find that there are two types of accounts that are going on in India, but three types of companies. Why? This is the companies which are small companies, you can say, which do not apply in their soil affairs. They apply AS. They apply AS. Like, and this is the companies. These are having big capital, you know. So they apply in this and in this. And this is one more company. Their balance is different again. They also follow index, but their format is different. How format is different? And what are these companies? These companies are NBFCs. NBFC means non-banking financial com companies. They follow this. Now, in these types of balance sheet, AS, you'll find equity and liability at the top and asset below. But in these two, you'll find asset at the top and liability below in the in the format in the original. He also assesses the first. So he also assesses the first in the balance sheet. He also assesses the first, but there is a difference in the other other items. 
because these are all financial. This is different. This is different. But this, this, this is not in our course. But this we have to learn. We have to learn it in chapter concept course. So these are the three different types of companies are there in India today, and three different types of balance sheet formation are there for them. So people get confused. So you have to know which company is suitable for which format, or which format is suitable for which companies. And I'll just explain it. Hope you like it. And need some other video. I'll take some other points. So hope you like it. So subscribe the channel and comment and like. Because if you like it or comment it, then you comment to tell me whether it's good or bad. It's my hobby to make it for you and for students who are not in the class. And your comment will help me to make more videos. And if you want to know some other terms, if you want my lecture there, I'll make that. You can send me a message in group or personally. I'll make video and share with you. So this will be a, always, you know, there should be a close touch and continuous relation between teacher and student. This is the most important thing. We should always be connected, teacher and student. So thank you very much. Bye-bye.